The political ads are coming at us fast and furiously this election cycle. We got emails from a couple of viewers asking us to verify this one. Brown backed Biden, voting to let transgender biological men participate in women's sports and supported allowing puberty blockers and sex change surgeries for minor children. It was put out by the Senate Leadership Fund, a super PAC created to help Republicans in the U.S. Senate. Let's start with the claim that Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown supported allowing puberty blockers and sex chain surgeries for minor children. It cites an interview with WSYX in Columbus as proof of this. Here's what Senator Brown said in that interview. A child's health care decisions are between them, their parents, their families, their doctors, not politicians. I will never agree with anybody that wants to um, bring politics into the family situation with health care, period. Brown's campaign told us his comments cited in the ad were not in support of puberty blockers or gender reassignment surgeries, but instead a call to keep politicians out of decisions that should be made between families and doctors. So we can verify this claim is false. Now let's look at the claim about women's sports. When making the claim, the ad refers to a vote in the U.S. Senate from March of 2021. When we pull up this vote on the U.S. Senate website, we see the amendment that was the subject of the vote had nothing to do with allowing transgender people to participate in women's sports. It was actually only about money. Senator Brown voted against including an amendment in the American Rescue Plan that would have stripped federal funding from Ohio schools if those schools allowed transgender people to participate in women's sports. So we can verify the claim that Brown voted to let transgender biological men participate in women's sports is false. Remember, if you see something you want us to fact check, you can send it our way at verify at WKYC.com. With your verify, I'm Stephanie Haney.